Hey guys, Dio here, and we're back for game 2 of Taste Breeze vs Robofolk for OLT round 1. The score is currently 1-0 to Taste, uh, if you haven't seen that game yet, make sure to check it out on Doc Rich's channel. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So looking at team preview, Robofolk has brought another HO team, uh, with dedicated lead role, Mega Pinsir, probably DD Zygarde, I'm gonna say SD Cart as opposed to Scar. That, that means that the Victini is probably Scarf and the Azu could is probably Belly Drum, although it could also be that Whirlpool set that we've been seeing um, to get rid of more fat things. On Taser's side, we have Lepani, uh, we have Greninja, which is female and thus protein. Um, could be Scarf, um, though it could also be the Z variant with Waterium or Groundinium. Then we have Gliscor, which is quite obviously the stealth rocker of the team, so it's probably U-turn rocks. We have Megana, probably AV to deal with Alakazam, Tapu Lele, that kind of stuff. Um, and then Rotom and Tangrowth to cover up the defensive core. Uh, Tace is probably going to lead Lopunny. I say this because Robopoke's likely to lead Excadrill. Um, Lopunny allows him to fake out, break the sash, and then kick it get rid of the drill and not have to worry about rocks. Um, having said that, Robofolk could know that Robofolk knows this and is likely to counteract that by leading with his pincer or his Victini. Uh, so let's get into this. All right, turn run. So Taste leads with the Lopani as Robofolk leads with the pincer as expected. Taste probably just gonna go for a fake out here, get some free chip on the pincer. Um, and then probably just pivot out to his Rotom, although he does have to be careful for the Escadrill switch um, that Robofoot could make um, on turn two. So yeah, not much to think about uh, this turn. Robofoot's probably wondering, um, well, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the fake out comes in. Um, Taste probably now just going to pivot out. Robofoak could take advantage of this, go to the drill as it threatens the Rotom as it is uh, Mold Breaker and can quite easily get rocks up. Uh, definitely, that would definitely be a player I'd make uh, for Robofoak um, and definitely one that Taste has to be careful of. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um, Robofoak could stay in, get some chip for the Rotom, um, so that the Victini can easily spam V-Create later on. So yeah, stays in, um, actually gets a crit here, which could be pretty big in the long run um, for Robopoke. Um Taze here, probably just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp um, or a Pump. More likely Will-O-Wisp though, um, trying to hit the drill. I would definitely go drill here if I were Robofolk. As he actually goes to Zygarde and gets punished for that as uh, it gets burnt by the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, um, I definitely would have gone drill there uh, because of the burn risk. And also just taking damage in general from a potential pump. So they switch out to Azu and Gliscor respectively. Uh, Gliscor just U turns out, obviously. Um, as it actually, as Robopo reveals that he's Whirlpool Megana. Uh, sorry, Whirlpool Azumarill. Um, but the Megana has Volt Switch and is able to get out of there pretty safely. Uh, probably going to go to Gliscor to get Rocks up. Um, though could go to Rotom as well um, to just threaten this with more damage with a Volt Switch. So yeah, he just goes to Gliscor. As Robopoke goes for the Perisong, um, this isn't enough turns for him to prevent rocks going up and uh, removing the Gliscor. So Taste is pretty good here. So yeah, rocks go up. Taste here can just U-turn out. Protect. Um, yeah, actually Earthquakes. I definitely would have U-turns there uh, because I'm pretty sure the Earthquake doesn't kill Azumarill. So... He didn't have to go for Protect there, could have just gone for it on the second turn. But anyway, worked out for him. He turns out there, of course, um, on the Burnt Zygarde. 
Uh, Rubber Poke doesn't actually need this well anymore since it's been burnt. There's pretty much nothing it can do. So Taste is probably just going to remove this. Uh, doesn't want to play around with any double switches or whatever. So yeah, it's actually the Glare uh, Zygarde. Probably the most common Zygarde at the moment. Soft Sand gets knocked off by Tangrowth, which means that Tangrowth is more than likely a Salt Fest uh, as opposed to Rocky Helmet. Taste here, probably just going to go into Gliscor, as he does. Um, not want to mess around with Paralysis, uh, messing up with his chances. As Robopoke just goes for DDs, but there's no way that the Burnt Zygarde can one-on-one -on -one this Gliscor. As Taste just Earthquakes and not brings it down to put in U-turn range. So just U-turns, uh, probably going to Lapani here. Yep, um, just to get free chip on something. As Robopoke goes into Zoomerall. Uh, protects on the fake out. Fair enough. Um, this is Zoom rule, probably speed death, as it allow it to come in on Greninja more times. Um, so Tate here can probably just go for a turn. Um, it's at eighty percent. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, fifty six. That was um, quite a lot of damage. So uh, yeah, Tate's in a pretty good position right here. Um, as Robopoke just leaves the Azumar in, nothing much it can do now. That's at six, uh, 36%. So yeah, Taste just keeps clicking return. And yeah, the Azumar goes down here. As Robopoke brings in his Victini. Um, so Taste can go to Rotom. He could also go to Gliscor here, as he does. Um, probably as a sack. Um, he's probably going to pivot to Rotom now, and Robopo predicts this by going to um, Kartana. Though Tace pretty happily sack to sack his Gliscor, just he turns out into his Greninja. Um, threatens Scarf here, um, though Robopo is also threatening his own Scarf. However, it's very unlikely that Kartana's Scarf, since with Teeny revealed, be create as Tace just knocks out with the HP fire. Uh, so Victini comes in here. And doubles to Excadrill, fair play, probably wanting to get rid of the rocks as Taste just goes into his Gliscor, not wanting to let Greninja go right now. Robopoke removes the rocks, uh, Taste goes into his Gliscor, brings, uh, sorry, yeah, Taste U-turns into Greninja um, and hits that Hydro Vortex which just nukes the Victini. Absolutely no switching for that. Um, this game's pretty much over at this point. There's nothing much that Rubber Poke can do. Um, and Taste just cleans up with the Greninja. Uh, gets a crit here with a pincer. And that's game. Yeah. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Doc will be keeping up with all the OLT games, along with some Snake games too. And yeah, peace.